So lo and behold, what you're looking at is the Blackmagic Ursa Mini Pro B4 mount. And um, for the few of you or the many of you who have Ursa Mini Pros, the B4 mount was announced along with it, but this wasn't supposed to ship till the summertime. So Blackmagic has obviously got their act together and they're starting to ship stuff well ahead of time now, instead of well after the so-called promise date. But anyway, kudos to Blackmagic. Um, this is gonna be an unboxing video of the B4 mount, and um, there will be a companion video of me hooking up the B4 mount to the camera, as well as test footage. Um, and I am about halfway done with the first part of that, and then we'll unbox this uh, Ursa Mini Pro mount and then we'll install it on the camera and all that kind of good stuff. So if you're really interested in the nitty gritty about this mount, I will be doing another video. So here we go, the unboxing of the B4 mount. Comes in kind of a, what I would call a non-USA warranty kind of box that if you've ever bought lenses, they kind of come into these white boxes that don't have much art direction. Um, right on top is the, um, instruction sheet need a two millimeter hex driver and um, that's good okay interesting case black magic's take on the lens bound case we've seen a few of these between red and Who else makes cases? Wooden camera, wooden camera mounts, coming cases, I'm not too sure. Anyway, it's kind of a unscrew. And there's the mount. The traditional looking black magic cap. Back cap. Oh wow, look at that. You know, the thing that I'm a little unfinished on the machining, but that's kind of cool, the way you can see the machine marks. Um, it's just a general comment about this. This mount is, I believe, just under 400 bucks, which to my mind is about $200 less than what I would expect a mount with optics to include, to cost, I should say. All right, so B4 mount. Remember, it stays in place. It's kind of like a PL mount. So, move the, the knob, remove it. There's the, uh, try to get that nice reflection going. There we go. You can see the focus on the back of the cap. There it is, the B4 mount. And I'm really looking forward to hooking this up to the Ursa Mini Pro and since that's one of the main reasons I got the Ursa Mini Pro, was so that I could repurpose my uh, Canon HD zooms from my Varicam. Seems like forever ago where I, where I was using those, but they've been sitting around waiting to get used again. And uh, let's see what else we got. Let's put this cap back on. It's got a little red dot so you know where to line it up. Positive lock. Let's see what else is in the box. Foam interior. Very lightweight plastic. And here are the, um, they have, um, the screws have Loctite. I don't know if that shows up. A little blue paint. Well, some of the screws have Loctite and some of them don't. So I guess if you wanted to do a permanent install, you'd use the blue ones. And if you want to do, you know, if you think of yourself switching around, which, you know, I gotta go switch around at this point, although it would be nice to just keep it B4 mount. If everything works out with B4 mount, it's probably gonna stay that way. But anyway, there's the screws, eight of them. And uh, let's see what else is in the box. There's actually something else in the box. Oh, it's a CD of some sort, perhaps. Oh, you know what these are? I should have just read CD. These are the shims. 
So if you're not familiar with shims, they kind of go back to the film days where you would set the back focus or the depth of your lens mount. And then all the lenses would correspond as long as you kept your spec, your lens mount spec properly and your lenses spec properly, everything would work. And the, of course those days were back in the um, rental days where you had collimators and you had technicians who stayed on top of all this stuff. Now of course it's really up to owner operators to stay on top of all this stuff. But with a, a zoom as long as these Fujis and Canons it's pretty easy to tell um, with back focus. Of course there's a back focus adjustment on B4 mounts uh, that can help with this but the reality is it'd be nice to just um, have everything square. Um, and these are obviously labeled 0.3 and these are just like you know various thicknesses it will adjust the depth of the mount so that's very nice and that's included in the price of admission so there's the basics of the B4 mount again I will be doing hopefully a more exhausting um, install and test of the lenses on the Ursa Mini Pro and um, hopefully it'll just take a couple of days because that's already in process. Take it easy.